If you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the little bell icon so you can be alerted each and every time we make a new video. Hey, Ira Miller here with Homes Around the Village's YouTube channel and today we are at 1401 Carrera in the village of El Santiago. So we are getting ready to do a walkthrough for John and Pearl. They have recently purchased this home and we're getting ready to close in a couple of days. So we needed to go ahead and do the walkthrough today so we can go ahead and produce this video and get it put out there uh, and send it to them. And then we're gonna go ahead and release it to all you all who are watching this video. So John and Pearl, thank you for this opportunity to do this walkthrough for you on your home because um, everybody, John and Pearl, will not be here for closing and they're not here for their walkthrough. So this is the best way that we could do it for them. I kind of got out of the rehab bed to do this for them, but I do whatever has to be done, right? So, okay. So we're gonna go ahead, do this walkthrough. I did want to kind of state a little bit up front as to why we're doing a walkthrough because we are in the contract series, okay? So in the contract series, if any of you have watched that at all, the contract allows us to do a walkthrough. The contract says we can do a walkthrough the day before closing. Why are we doing a walkthrough? We're doing it for a couple of different reasons. Number one, we're doing the walkthrough to make sure that the seller has kept this property in the same condition in which the buyers, John and Pearl, saw this property, right? So in the contract, it says that the seller is responsible for keeping the property in the same condition as of the effective date, and the effective date is the day that everybody signed the paperwork for the contract on this home. So that's number one. Number two, we want to uh, do a walkthrough and make sure that um, all the things on the inspection report are fixed. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the home. We're going to make sure everything's in working condition, just like I mentioned. Once we see everything's in working condition, then we're satisfied with that. Like I said, according to the contract, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at their inspection report, and then we're gonna make sure everything was repaired that was required in the inspection report. So that's kind of what this is all about. So let's go ahead and get started, and uh, we'll do a walkthrough. We'll walk around, um, we'll just walk around the outside real quick so John and Pearl can see the condition that the house is in. It's beautiful as the day they saw it. So look, let's go ahead and get started. So beautiful home, very, very well manicured and maintained. We do have the name of the uh, arborist who does all the plant trimmings. We've had, had a lot of rain lately, so everything's gonna grow like crazy. There we have the mailbox center across the street. So very convenient, very private, large backyard. If they ever wanted to put a pool back here, they could put a pool back here. There's an added bird cage back here. Really, that's not even a bird cage. That's actually called a residential lanai. All right, so this is what the outside looks like. Now this is the original lanai, and then again, they extended the roof, so continued the lanai out a little further, which is what we like. And then AC's working. Get 
gas in this home. A lot of people ask what that is. That's the rain sensor on the roof. Just so you know, they do have a um, whole house uh, a surge protector. That's what that is on that meter. All right. So I just like to give a lot of little information to the owners so they kind of know what's going on here. There's a flagpole out front. And then we'll head on inside. All right, so let's go ahead and go on inside and we're going to do the walkthrough. We're going to test everything, make sure everything is in working condition. All right, so what I like to do is I like to start flipping switches, making sure so this one switch goes to that light up there. This switch here goes to outside lights outside here. Okay. Now, I like to go ahead and start the water because I want to make sure that there's no um, leaks under the sink. Make sure that the faucets work. Okay. Garbage disposal works. Lights on the dimmer. And then we have a light switch for these lights. So those all work. We have a fan and this switch here switches on the fan and the fan works. All right, let's take a look at Underneath the sink, the hot water is working. Make sure there's no leaks under here. This uh, garbage disposal looks like it was changed out in 2018. Uh, four years old, but it still looks new. All right, so let's get under there. I don't see any wet spots. I don't see any stains. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start checking out. Um, let's see, there's nothing in. Check the, make sure the microwave's working. Usually I have a little tester. Oh, they forgot their bread. So let's see. Um, let me see if there's anything like a lag or something I can find. No, they pretty well clean the place out. So that's kind of a good thing, actually. It's nice and clean. Little TV. All right, let's test the microwave. So the turntable is working. Lights working inside there. So that looks good. And light. Gas appliances. Okay, here we are. So there's your flame for the back burner, flame for the front burner. You can't see it, but that's your hot plate. So all that works, we're going to hit bake, and we're going to test the bake. 
Let's see here. Um, Let's see, that says quick. Alright, so that's quick bake. So we'll let that go and we'll, we'll watch that go up. That should go up.
So we're pretty well done here in the kitchen. Shut the fan off, shut the lights off, we check the microwave. Oh, we didn't check here. We'll try to let this cage run for a little bit. We'll do the rest of the house. Alright, so um I'm not sure. Let's see this switch. Let's see. Come on over here, Blakely. And um, hit this switch while I look. Kind of like to know. I mean, we've got the light working here, so I know that works. Let's see if this is for the carriage lights. So, that switch is for the carriage lights. All right, so actually we went ahead and we checked to make, to see if this was the one that turned those carriage lights on. It's not. Um, so what I'm going to tell you is, like we showed you in the bedrooms, normally there's a little red dot, and this is called a dedicated outlet switch. And so if you come in the front door, you would switch this, which would turn one of these outlets here in the uh, living room on. So you'll just have to experiment by plugging a light in and just to see which one that it'll light up. And it's probably going to be one of those uh, farthest most outlets. But the one that does um, operate the, those carriage lights is the same one, this switch here in the kitchen, that operates the light up here. So we just wanted to kind of make that correction. So I was wrong about this. And there you go. All right. So let's move on. Okay, so here they have, um, it was 80 degrees when we came in the house. And actually, the door has been open. This is just a screen. So that's why it, it hasn't gone down all that much, but it has gone down to 80. You do have a humidistat. What's the humidistat for? The humidistat is you can set that. So when the humidity gets to a certain level, it'll kick on. So instead of having the air conditioner on set all the time, if you go away, you can just set the humidistat because you don't really care too much about how hot it gets in here. You just don't want humidity in here. Humidity could, call, could cause mold, so you don't want that. So those humidistats are good to have. All right, um, let's go ahead and go on in here. You do have another vacuum outlet. And light. Okay, so that works. Light in here works. This light works. Tub light works. Over the toilet. And the exhaust fan. All work. Check for leaks. I don't see any um, stains down here, so I just check to make sure I don't feel any water leaking out. Seems good. Hot water. Toilet. Works good. If you want to know how to turn your shower on, this is how you do it. Turn this on, pull this down. Turns your shower on. Okay. There's a little bit of a leak up here. 
Oh, that was just loose. Okay. Always look for that, for those leaks. Make sure it's draining so we see that it's draining. So it's draining good. And then it automatically goes back to the spigot. Beautiful shower glass door. I love that. These people left no stone unturned here. Granite counters, which are nice. Um, so what is this for? This is actually for that screen door. So you could put this back in where the screen door is if you want to. All right. So you have three switches. One switch is for the light. One switch is for the fan. And one switch is called a dedicated outlet. Now, usually there's a little red dot on this switch. And then it tells you there's a little red dot on one of these outlets. But I don't see that. So just know you'll have to see which switch is switched at the outlet. Okay? All right. This room checks out. This room checks out. Hallway checks out. Uh, we'll head over to uh, the and I. So they left you their surround system, which is nice. The speakers are attached to the walls. So there is no light kit in there, but you have a switch in case you wanted one for the light, to put a light kit in there. All right? Uh, we'll go outside. All right, so a couple of switches. One turns this light on, and one turns the fans on. These fans look like they might be on a remote. A remote control. Ah. And so yes, they are on remote controls. So it looks like looks like one of the fans aren't working. And I don't know if it's the remote control that's not working because we pushed the little light button and it's not doing anything. And it's not doing anything for here either, but this one's ours. So we'll have to inquire about that fan, okay? We'll leave these up here. All right, like I said, this light is for there, and then to work off the switches, but I just can't get the fan to work, or else it wouldn't be such a, a bad deal. We'll inquire about that. Okay, we're done out here.
so this must be a dedicated outlet switch to one of these switches in here. This switch turns on here. Okay, so this is it for the light. Doesn't seem to be working. And this is low. So maybe this has a remote as well. switch them just so you can see they work. Oh. Let that cool off a second. Let's go on in here. We'll do the bathroom. Okay, so exhaust works and fan works. Very nice and close shower. And um, we have switches. There we go. Water is nice and hot in here. the washer and dryer in here. This model is called the Willow. It's called the Willow because the Willow model, it's also called the Wisteria or the Jasmine, but the Jasmine's block and stucco. The Wisteria is wood frame and vinyl. The Willow has a door that leads out to the garage, which I always really like. Gives you access in from the house. The wash tub is in here utility tub, whatever you want to call it. So, check into the washer and dryer.
no lips. Hot. Dryer's hot. Oh, by the way, here's your hose for your vacuum cleaner. And then um, the other um, the other attachment. Oh, I like this too. In case one wants to sleep in and the other one needs to get up early. But um, the attachments to the uh, to the vacuum cleaner are in here. So on either side of the air conditioner are your attachments that go for that hose. Okay? All right. Let's just make sure this outlet is working. I'll leave this bulb out. Here. A little tiny, told you I didn't bring my glasses. There's a little tiny switch right down here that switches it on and off, even though it has off and on power. All right, so there you go. Good to, good to know. With a little word. Um, all right, so we've kind of gone through everything. Now let's go through the um, inspection report. Here are all the receipts uh, that's showing all, this, these, are, these are the receipts, right, that show all the repairs. So, um, the inspection report, we have the report. Here's our inspection report. Let me tell you something. This house is 20 years old, something like that, maybe 22 years old. Two little pages of a report, that's crazy. For a home, you would, you would definitely expect things to be a lot worse than that. Uh, so it says one exterior outlet at the, at the uh, lamppost sign has failing ground. So it shows that they bought a new outlet, and then the inspect, and then the um, lawn sprinkler heads. Cleaned and adjusted, that's it. So it's saying zone six had issues. So let's go turn zone six on and see what we can find.
All right, so we're on zone six, and we're going to go ahead and go from manual to run. And we're going to go, look at this, you got an air hose here. Wow, that's great. Oh, they had a compressor. What they did, they hooked it up to here and put it down over here. <coughs> they didn't need the compressor. All right. Uh, zone six. I would have thought zone six of these little drip lines. Okay, so here we go. This little cover right there is where water was spraying, showing water spraying from the little hose. And so right here is that cover. And we have, uh, we have zone six on. What it is, it's um, just a little dripper, just drips. And uh, let's go ahead and show you real quick over here uh, where we have the uh, sprinkler timer. I like the fact that this has a door out the side. That's really convenient. Love that. But right here, it was, it started at 45 minutes, but now you can see we're down to 42, so we're running. All right, so. There you go. That shall complete our uh, walkthrough, showing everything that was fixed in the house. I wanna thank you so much for working with me. And uh, looking forward to a great closing on Wednesday. And uh, everybody else, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Ira Miller, Homes Around the Villages YouTube channel, signing off. And we'll see you in our next video.